What up, what up, what up, team? Yo, Fu Punch Savi here, and I am here with some more Naughty Blood content. Well, I guess gameplay, really. So, uh, I'm gonna be adding commentary to some of these because I just got back from Combo Breaker, right? My everyone voice hurts, right? From yelling, there was a lot of yelling. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't feel like talking, and I just wanted to chill with my music. And there won't be sounds on the, the gameplay video because I was listening to um the music I like. They're not like uh, video game music, so it's just it's gonna be me versus a art player. Alright. Don't worry, I added some music already to it. So it's me versus this art player. Right, I already been playing for a little bit. I think it's like 40 minutes in into the lobby. And this, uh, the Saber player shows up. Weird. I don't remember Saber with red eyes. But, alright. Let's see how it is. Also, I am i don't think I want to play... If I'm playing on PC, by the way, you'll know I'm playing on PC if, like, uh... If my username is, like, Fruit Punch Saber instead of Mashinobi. That means I'm playing on PC. If I'm playing on PC, I probably won't play with the game sounds. Because the game uh, audio thing is kind of annoying me. So, there you go. You like that combo? Yeah. Honestly, I leveled up quite a bit from Combo Breaker. I leveled up a lot, actually. Because playing offline really makes a difference. Like, playing offline really makes a difference compared to playing online. Like, yeah, online... Some sure. may say it doesn't feel that laggy compared to offline, but I mean, it, it makes it, I don't know how to describe it. It just makes it very huge difference. And I was able to grind a lot and level it up. Thanks to playing uh, offline combo breaker, right? Even though I had a really bad tournament run, I definitely leveled up this weekend for sure. Devoted casuals. Thank goodness for 24 seven casual stations, dude. Shout out for Combo Breaker for that, dude. I love that. I don't think I ever want to go to a fighting game tournament that does not have a 24-7 casual stations. Or at least like a really good casual setup. Because, dude, I was able to get so many games in. Nice. So many games in. Um, offline. And leveled up quite a bit with my power CL. And I try going, right? Because uh, a lot of people like to press buttons usually after my EX Lightning. Time up, he got me. Nice clutch from the art player. Timer scam. That was like one of my first time getting timer scam too. That one's still kind of hard to hit. I hit that a little bit more often offline. This combo right here. You see this sick combo? Oh, never mind. You saw that? You heard it, right? I pressed the button, but nothing came out. I'm like, okay, right. I learned to not show my emotion when playing anymore, right? Because I'm like, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. And then uh, I didn't remember how to do the combo right there. There's a little drop, right? A little bit scrambly situation, right? Arch's flying over the screen. I'm trying to catch her. Got it with a DP. Big 4K DP combo, by the way. You're dead. All because you jumped. Yeah, so that's another thing I learned uh, uh, playing offline. I learned to do more DPS. All right, I could have got a better punish, but I'll take that. Yeah, definitely messed up my combo. That's why I shake my head. Got him. I learned this from offline. You saw that combo? I learned how to do that offline. No, no one taught me how to do it. So what happened is, I learned the secret, oh, I dropped the combo big time, but I learned the secret of uh, getting good, right? I, I don't remember who told me this. It was actually like, a, I was watching like a fighting game stream like a long time ago. And someone said that if you want to level up, the best way isn't to fight someone that's stronger than you, right? That's if you want to try to ascend. But one of the best ways of training is to fight someone that's weaker than you. And then you want to try the new stuff, right? Once you confirm that new stuff works, try against stronger opponents. 
But for weaker opponents, you want to fight weaker opponents. What the fuck? And try the new stuff. So I was able to try a lot of new stuff uh, this weekend for Combo Brayer. Because a lot of people that was playing the casual setups, they mainly uh, play Melty Blood like a very side game. Like side game-ish. Right? And uh, I was able to experiment a lot. And I get to make sure, you know, it works because there's no lag. Mess that up. But that's fine. We got the pickup. Uh-uh-uh. Right here for the safe jump set up. There we go. I remember I was having trouble landing the safe jump setups online before I went to Combo Breaker. After I went to Combo Breaker, I kind of got the safe jump setup on tact, but I landed like 90% of the time. So I still drop it. It's not 100%. All right, very big scrambly situation. This arc is hitting everything, everything. Activate Moon Drive. She activated Moon Drive back. I didn't expect that to hit. And then I want the scramble situation right there. Do I want to heat? Let's see if I'm going to heat. No heat. I want to save the meter. Oh. Am I going to do that combo? Yeah, jump back. Jump C. That. And I'm going to go for an overhead. Yup. Go for an overhead. If he blocks the overhead, I could just, uh, you know, use EX Lightning. If he shield the overhead, I'm screwed. I have to play RPS with him. But thank God the overhead hits, so we didn't have to deal with any of those situations. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. There's a lot of people playing. There was a lot of people in this lobby. I don't, I don't know how much of... Uh, footage I'm going to use of it, but I think I had like two to three hours of footage of people playing, so that's pretty good. I like that. It seems like uh, after Combo Breaker, it seems to boost a little bit people uh, interest for Melty Blood type Lumina. That makes me a little bit happy, at least on the PC version. I'm playing on PC. And then, oh, yeah, okay. There's actually another combo I wanted to try. But I went for the easy stuff for the easy confirmation. Here's a big combo. Uh uh uh. Safe jump setup. Oh, I messed up the safe jump. See, I told you I hit it 90% now. I used to hit it like 60% before combo breaker. After doing it a little bit offline. Um after combo breaker, I can do the safe jump setup for like 90% of the time without messing up. I didn't choose the BC because I didn't want to waste my moon meter. And he got me nice. right there. Good blocks from the arc. So he got hit by the unblockable. So what I got to start doing as well, you saw that I hit that 5C in the air. Nice neutral jump for the arc player. Oh, uh, big drop. I don't know what happened. Uh oh, are you going to regret this drop? Nope. Nice shield. Okay. All right. He got scared. He think I was going to shoot back, so he went for the throw. The, the pretty safe option. I agree. No, wrong fucking combo. We did a wrong combo, but that's fine. Watch this setup. Uh, he didn't fell for it. It seems that a lot of people is getting good at like not reacting to CL uh, ADP. Like whenever I do her ADP, I try to look at your character to see if you press a button. Then I'm gonna press the, the jump B button and get you with a big counter hit. See, I should have did a. I don't know what I could have did. I guess I should have did like 5B. That would have caught it. Or any standing moves. I did like crouching normals. And Ark was able to jump out of it. Boom. 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 Got him with the DP. That's one thing I really like to do with uh, Power CL round start. I like to do DP. If you're not in my face trying to press that A button, I'm gonna try to DP your ass. Cause it's like 4K. It's four damage. I could have uh, activated new drive shield, but I didn't react hard enough. See, this is why I didn't like playing on. Uh, 
It's, it is what it is, right? I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, see, that was my safe jump. Wrong combo. Did the wrong combo, it's fine. We still got it. It's a lot of scrambly situations, but we recover. Boo. Ooh, ooh. Am I gonna do it? Yay! Am I gonna do the combo? This combo does 46. Oh. Okay, never mind. But look at the damage. I messed up the combo. And uh, I, I got a lot of damage from that. Lucky reset. I think it does like almost 5k. Yeah, I learned to just use the B button too instead of the 5C. Because the, when the 5C whiffs, um, it hurts when it whiffs. Because people's gonna punish me super fast. 5B, people punish me too, but it's a, at least have a quicker recovery. So I try to stick out the 5B button sometimes just to like see if they're trying to air dash at me. So I'll be sticking out a lot. I, I do that a lot in the corner too, to be honest. Just in case they try to like jump out. Oops. Scrambly situation. Nice block from the arc. Ooh, you didn't block that. You were trying to do something. You were trying to do that armor move, right? Too bad. You want to see some gimmicks? I messed up. That's a cross up what I did. But I messed up the combo. That's unblockable. Alright. Got me with the second hit of the, the jumping attack. All right, Ark, let's see what you got. Activate heat to get some health back. Ah, bad mistake, bro. I can moon drive that. I can activate moon drive on my special. The Ark player tried to react by using super. He saw me use a special, but I had moon drive, so. Ooh. I always fucking fall for that shit. Dude. Yeah, I always fall for that. That string. That was a whiff penalty. That art play did a heat OS and it worked. What? So I guess the heat OS still technically kind of works sometimes. But I probably wouldn't use it, dude. It's so risky using it. Nice. Like, he got me with a stagger offense. Right, I thought he was gonna grab, like do like a low jab and then grab. He didn't do that. He just pressed jab twice. But he staggered a little bit. So my character could stop blocking when I was mashing grab. Here we go. Can I do the big combo? Look at the fudge. I messed up. I do that. I can do that combo. Trust me, bro. I did it on the other players in the lobby. Hopefully I can upload that footage. I Dude, I fucking catch the back dash. But uh, Arca 5C, uh, 5B catches that. I didn't do uh, the jump cancel OS. Oh, Arc, don't choke. Don't choke. Oh, shoot, you choked. Wait, am I choking? Uh oh, we both choked. Oos. Caught him air dashing. Use the lightning. I did a delay staggered lightning. EX lightning. It's cause hey, I yo forgot. kid, what's up? And that's the end. That was me versus Arc. So yeah, I definitely I say I love it up a lot, right? I'm doing a lot more stuff that I want to do now compared to to the stuff I did before Karma Breaker. So my power CO definitely leveled a lot. Too bad it leveled up a lot after the tournament, right? I guess I should have, nah, honestly, mm, yeah, I should have uh, played casuals, but I feel like I wouldn't level up as fast as I would, um, you know, after the loss, right? Or before the loss, because, you know, before the loss, I didn't really care. Right, my mind's in another place. A lot of stuff is happening, right? And I'm drinking a lot of quills, right? Some honeys, some honey meds. So my mind was on another place. 
So even if I did play casuals, right, probably wouldn't level up fast enough. And um, yeah, there's definitely a huge difference on playing offline versus online too, right? You can definitely feel the difference for sure. And I could tell you playing offline is mad fun, really fun, especially when the person's next to you. It's mad fun. I really like it. But, you know, it is what it is. Online is all we have until next time, right? Next tournament. So we got to deal with it. Um, I just uh, basically, you saw me, right? I've just listened to anime music while playing online. And I make sure to not, I don't want to hear the audio glitch or audio bug. So I just mute this stuff completely and just listen to anime music. That's how I'm handling online now, to be honest. It's definitely more enjoyable, not taking it seriously, to be honest, right? Because I don't want to hear the... Because if I'm taking it seriously, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, freaking tilted, seeing everyone teleport, the little teleports, and the audio bug. So I might as well just relax, put the headphones in, just chill while playing some Melty Blood, right? Right, casually. Yeah, that's probably... Uh, what I like to do best if we're gonna if we have to play online, right? That's what I like to do best. Offline, I like to hear everything. I want to hear the people, right? The the person next to me, the butts and clickings, right? And I want to hear the game. I want to hear everything. I like that. That's a really good experience. But yeah. Anyway, appreciate sure everyone that stopped by. It's been cool. Definitely gonna be uploading more Melty Blood gameplay videos. If it's lacking commentary, I'll probably do what I do over here, which is basically um, I'll trim the video and then add music and commentary. So anyway, uh, appreciate everyone that stopped by. It's been cool. Please like, subscribe. That really helped our channel. And I'm going to head out. Later. Bye.